I think it was very helpful for us to meet. You know, our first intention foremost is to let him know that the hearts and, and minds of the Virgin Island citizens are with our fellow Dominican brothers and sisters here in the Caribbean. And we wanted him to know that that comes from the highest level of government, from our governor, Kenneth Mapp, um, myself, the member of Congress for the Virgin Islands, um, Stacy Plaskett, as well as from our legislature. We had the majority leader of the legislature here, as well as private sector, um, Dr. Jolie, um, and Singapore Rescue, our Rotary, um, uh, everyone who was here, uh, representatives of the governor, uh, Shelley Moorhead and others were here to lend that support. And we really wanted to hear from the Prime Minister directly as to the impact this hurricane has had on them and how we can be supportive in that. We understood about the need for building materials, relocation, um, trauma support, medical support, and we're trying to do what we can. Um, representatives of the Dominicans United in St. Croix and St. Thomas were also present. They are bringing immediate relief efforts through uh, containers that have already been filled and on their way being shipped down here to Dominica, but we also want a second wave of what's necessary. We're trying to connect with Home Depot, as well as local agencies and the federal government to lend the help that's necessary for the long-term development. We know that this has been an enormous crisis for the people of Dominica. We really want to extend ourselves for the immediacy, but we understand that this is a long-term effort and we're going to be here for the long haul to get Dominica through what has been a tragedy that we will hope will believe turned into an opportunity for them to grow their economy, grow themselves, and of course we're already seeing how it has bound the people one to another uh, as we move forward. And we're really grateful for this opportunity. Okay. Uh, what's your next step? Do you um, go to the Washington? next step for me in Washington is to meet with other members of Congress, particularly those members who represent uh, the Caribbean communities in Miami, in New York City in particular, uh, Congresswoman Yvette Clark, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson in particular, have, uh, we are going to be coordinating what efforts we can to provide technical support, to provide assistance from the U.S. government. Um, we know USAID is already here on the ground, but how they can become a much larger force for development um, and really to send the message to the United States Congress that this was in fact a tremendous tragedy, that climate change is already showing its immediate effect on communities throughout the world and particularly in the Caribbean and that much more attention needs to be placed on it.